Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I finally have an update to my Pando's Eyeshadows project. Uh, it's not going very well, but I guess, yeah, we'll talk about it as I go. But this project was created by Alexandra Shostin. I have her linked below. And yeah, it's a project that you try and pan your eyeshadows. You randomize the shades, basically. And the way I'm doing it is not a panning project because it's going to take me like a lifetime to pan an, an eyeshadow. So I do a 10 use um, goal on each of them. So that's how I keep it moving because otherwise I would just have the same shades for years. So today I do have one thing to roll out. So that's why I'm filming this video because <laughs> otherwise it would be pretty boring. And yeah, I guess we'll just get into it. So the first shade, this is not in order, but just because I'm looking at my Excel file. So the first shade is Amsterdam. This like cobalt blue <laughs> or I'm not really sure, I guess something like that. This is from the um, Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay pressed pigment palette and of course I got that shade which is like the hardest one in the whole palette to get use out of but yeah so I think I'm at the same place I was last time I might have used it one more time I've only used it three of the ten times because I just I don't reach for shades like this and this palette is a pressed pigment palette which means like it is very pigmented and you have to kind of like know what you're doing when you use like at least this color is very you know extreme for me <laughs> so I'm not doing so well with it as you can imagine it's just hard for me to bring this shade into looks so yeah I'm still at three but I'll should I keep it in I was thinking before filming this, I was like, should I just roll out the shades I'm not using? And it's kind of like cheating, but again, like, who cares? Because <laughs> it's my project, so I'm pretty sure no one's going to be angry about it. But maybe I will do that because I'm finding I'm not into, like, using the shades in this project because... I mean, I love that they're random because that's fun to choose a random palette for my collection and get use out of it. But at the same time, then it's a very random color story. Well, I mean, it's the luck of the draw, basically. And I just happen to get like some shades that I don't normally use and that don't work well together. So I think maybe I will do that. And at least until the end of the year, and maybe next year, I'll think of a different way I can do this project. Because I do really like it, but it's just like not really working <laughs> for me. So I think I'm going to roll this out. I know that I like this palette because I have tried it before. I actually have a two looks, one palette with this. A two looks, one palette video <laughs> with this palette, which I... I think I always link it below when I do these updates so yeah I love the shimmers in this palette and I love the mattes too it's just that one it's just kind of out of my comfort zone I guess so let's actually roll this out the next one on my list is kind of the same story it's from my makeup forever uh, I never know what to call this nine artist shadow palette but it's volume three it's like the spring um version so this is the shade that i've been working on as you can see because it's pretty much the only shade i've been using in this palette i hadn't used this palette before rolling it into this project and this also is just a shade like i'm not using and i also don't like the formula of this palette and I unfortunately think all the shades in this palette are the same formula like this is an all shimmer palette so 
I thought about actually decluttering this uh, because I don't see myself wanting to reach for it. And even today, I tried to use this like light gold shade as my inner corner and it doesn't didn't show up. I actually had to put something else, which I'll show you, on top of it because it just didn't do anything. So I think I might actually declare this palette. I don't know, this, I, this video is not going where I thought it was, but yeah. Because I was actually considering putting this palette in my palettes on the Chopping Block series too, but I already think I... I know how I feel about it. And I actually will say, I think this is one of the oldest palettes in my collection and it was already old when I got it because I got it from my cousin who used to work at Makeup Forever. And I think it was like one of her gratis or something that she didn't use. And I think it may be expired also <laughs> because when you touch these shades, they're very, it's kind of like they dried out, but they're still not dry. That I don't know if that makes any sense. Actually, I should be swatching these anyway to show you what I'm talking about. So I'll go back to the Amsterdam shade, which is like a really pretty shade, right? I just, I don't use it. Um, and it's very intense, as you can see. And then I'll try and swatch this shade but it's very hard to actually pick it up. Like, it looks really pretty, right? But it's very like thin and it doesn't stick. Like that's what happens when you swatch it. So, I don't know. I don't think it was always like this. But then again, I don't have much experience with Makeup Forever eyeshadows anyway, and I believe they reformulated them, so I don't know. It's just too sheer for this type of color. And I've tried to use it as a liner with, by spraying my brush. That didn't work. I tried to use it as an inner corner shade. That didn't work because it doesn't stick. Like, the pigment doesn't stick to my eye. So yeah, I'm gonna um, declutter this one. I'm gonna give it to a friend um, cause I don't know if it's a bad palette. It's just, I have so many other palettes that I like better. So yeah, let's do that. The next shade is actually the one I'm rolling out. It's from my Violet Boss Essentials palette. I actually really like this palette. I got it in a boxy charm and I didn't have like high expectations, but it's actually really good. And I did a look one day with these four shades and I loved it. So this is the shade I was working on, Dusty Rose. I mean, you can't really see much <laughs> use um, because this was like a shade I would use as a transition shade or like to blend out other shades in this project. Um, so I guess I wasn't using like tons of it, but I really like that shade and I really like this palette. So this one is rolling out because I actually reached my goal on it. I actually used it, I say 11 times. It might have been more, but I stopped tracking because I already reached my 10 use goal. So that will go back in my collection. The next one is from my ABH Sultry palette. This is actually the shade I have in my outer corner and lower lash line today. It's the shade Dystopian, the deep brown shade in this palette. I actually think this one is showing some good progress. This shade I mentioned in my last video, it's not the easiest to work with. I feel like it's so pigmented that you really have to blend it out, like you have to spend time blending. So yeah. And actually this is not my favorite palette from ABH. I I don't know if these like gray leaning cool tones look the best on me, but I'm gonna keep it around. I do really like this birch shade and I always reach for this matte cream shade when I do my eye looks. I did that today. And this one too, Twig, has a lot of use on it. 
but yeah so this one going back to this project i've used seven times so i'm going to use it three more times i shouldn't have an issue with it because although it's not my favorite formula the shade of it is easy to use like as a you know a deepening shade so and i thought about trying it in my brows one day so i might do that too so yeah seven uses on this one but three more to go and the last shade is the newest shade I rolled in. Yes, it's from this Barbarella eyeshadow palette from B Beauty London. I've never heard of them or seen anything else about them, but I got this in a boxy charm. It's a very big palette. It's basically a neutral palette with a pop of blue and green. <laughs> Um, but I actually really have been liking this shade that I rolled in. It's called Kofi, I think is how you pronounce it. If you can tell, there's actually a, quite a big dip in it because it's one of those formulas that it's almost like a flaky shimmer and it's not like binded very much in the pan. So when you put your brush in, you just move the product. But that's what I have on my inner corner today and that's exclusively how I've been using it. I've used it five times in that way. I do want to try it all over the lid because, well, I need to swatch it and I forgot to swatch the last two. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so let me just swatch this one first since we're talking about it and I guess I'll ruin that indent now. But I think you can even see what I mean in a swatch, how it's like very flaky and it's so like pigmented and shiny. And it does kind of have, well, I'm an idiot and I just swatched it over the stain from the other, but it has like a pink shift, very slight pink shift. Um, so I really, I've been liking that shade for an inner corner especially but I've only used it five times so it will stay in until I reach 10 but let me go back to swatch the Violet Voss shade you can barely see it because it's like well I was gonna say a dusty rose but that's actually the name of the shade dusty rose so that's what it looks like. And then the dystopian shade from the ABH palette. Even when you touch it, it's so dry, but so pigmented. So I think even in a swatch, you can see what I mean. Like it's so pigmented that where you put it down, is where the color stays and then you have to really blend it to get the full well to get like an even application so yeah those are all the shades but like I said we are actually now gonna roll in three new shades and they should be good because I wasn't feeling those blues anyway for like the end of the year fall to winter I'm not going to be wearing like bright blue eyeshadows so I'm hoping this will like reinvigorate this project okay so the way I do this part the randomization part is I roll a random palette in my collection and then I roll a random number to pick the shade so let's do that I'm going to use to roll the palette my tiny decisions app and I might actually roll in a single eyeshadow too this is not only palettes so we'll see this is my wheel so let's roll the first palette elf cream and sugar okay that's a mini four pen palette so not much <laughs> versatility in, in there uh, but let's roll all the palettes and then i'll gather them and then roll for the numbers lunar beauty oh that's exciting 
This is actually a palette in my Shop My Stash and I used it one time so far. I wore it to a wedding that I just went to this past weekend. So I'm very excited because I really like that palette. And the last one. Oh my God. We went from a four pan elf palette to a 100 pan elf palette. This is my elf. I don't know the official name of it. I just call it elf 100 because then that's how I know which one it is. Wow. That's going to be funny. Okay. So let me gather those palettes and then roll for the shades. Okay. So. The first one is the e.l.f. Cream and Sugar. Like I said, it's just a four pen palette. If I get this shade, we're going to roll again because that looks too much like the dystopian shade from the ABH palette. So let's roll. And now I'm using my Pretty Random app to roll a number between one and four. One. Okay. Kind of boring, but very functional for me. A matte cream shade. So that's going to be so easy to use. This is um, the shade. Do these have shade names? No. There's no shade names in these palettes, but I'll remember that it's the matte cream shade. And again, this is the cream and sugar quad. And I actually really like this. Palette. I feel like these e.l.f. quads are almost like Sephora quality, so if you are looking for a very affordable eyeshadow palette, I do recommend these. So yeah, I'm happy about this. I know it's kind of boring, but I'm going to be able to use this, so that's good for the purpose of this project, which is to use your eyeshadows. Then I rolled the... So my Lunar Beauty palette is actually the... Nude Prism palette. I call it Lunar Beauty because I only own this one palette from them. It's beautiful. I got this from BoxyCharm for a really good price. And these are the shades. This is like the perfect wedding palette, I feel. Which is why I brought it with me <laughs> when we went to the wedding. And I did a look with like the more pink tones. And it was really natural, but I loved it. And the shimmers are beautiful. I used this shade Sam. So this is fun. I mean, there is a potential to roll in just a basic brown because this is like a neutral pink palette, but we'll see. So this palette has one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I'm bad at math. Yes, 18 shades. So let's roll between one and eight. One, okay, no. <laughs> so the one is the shade Bare, which is another matte cream shade. So we're not doing that. Oh, I forgot to change, the number didn't work anyway. So let's do that again. It was still one to eight. What? It was one to eight when it should have been one to 18. Anyway, so number three I mean, is it too similar? So that's the shade I'm Shy. I guess it's deeper than the shade in the e.l.f. palette. Let's do a swatch. These shades are so soft and smooth. I don't know if that's different enough. It's basically my skin tone, so you can't even see it. Well, the e.l.f. one, oh, you can't really tell in this lighting, but the e.l.f. one is brighter. But no, the, it's just not, <laughs> no. Let's try this again. Oops. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh my god. So, <laughs> 10 is actually the shade I was just talking about, Sam. And this is a beautiful shade. Look at this. This is like a pink. 
like a rose gold metallic and it's beautiful okay this is this is good and lastly my elf 100 pen palette oh gosh this is a palette i've owned for quite a while i got it in i got it for christmas one year from my mom and I have actually used it before and I was actually quite surprised with how like the quality of this considering it's elf and it's like a holiday release. It comes back every year though if you're interested. Um, I wasn't expecting much but I actually kind of liked it. So let's see. There's a lot of cream shades in this too so we might have to re-roll. So I did 1 to 100. 63. It's a brown shade, but it's like a satin and maybe has some shimmer in it. It's this one here. Let's see, maybe it's too similar to Dystopian. It's a different formula for sure. It's like a satin shade. Yeah, it's another like cool tone brown. Not as pigmented, that's for sure, but still. Do I want to roll another brown in? No. That's boring. <laughs> Let's try again. 85. 85 is like a warm kind of orangey shade. This one. This should be good. Okay. It's actually kind of similar to Dusty Rose, but more on the orange side. But that's a good, that would be a great transition shade. So now I'm just going to re-swatch them in like a nice way so that we can see the full color story. This is the new color story. This is going to be so easy. So I'm very happy <laughs> that I decided to roll out those other shades even though I didn't meet my goal on them. But now I have like an actual palette of colors that I would use on a daily basis so this is going to be really good I think so this one you can't really see that's the elf matte cream shade from the cream and sugar palette this one is the elf 100 palette that like orangey shade this is Sam from Lunar Beauty Nude Prism this is Kofi from the Barbarella palette and this is Dystopian from the ABH Sultry. So this is going to be super easy to use as a look. Like I could use every shade together. So this is going to be really good, I think. It's not very exciting. <laughs> it's a neutral, like rose gold kind of color story, but I really like it. And it's not like seasonally like specific to a season like I can wear this these colors any time of year so I'm actually quite happy about this so we'll see how it goes if I still am having trouble reaching my goals in this project maybe it's just not the project for me because I should not have any issue with this so we'll see uh, I will update you obviously when the next shade will be rolled out which will most likely be the shade dystopian because I've already reached for that one seven times so yeah next update we'll see what happens so I hope you guys like this video I know it was kind of random and didn't really go where I wanted it to go <laughs> kind of just made it up on the spot but yeah if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye